Hello everyone, I am not a cake. My name is Stephen Pope and this is New Pantheon, a demigod's actual play here on Saving Throw Show. Let's meet our wonderful players who might secretly be cake. I don't know, starting with Eric. Hi everyone, my name is Eric and I am playing Finn, Flynn Fairbanks, who is the trickster of the group. He is the son of Robin Hood and uh, just uh, all around kind of chaotic guy. And he does, he does, he does a hack. He does a Mr. Robot. Uh, is he chaotic good? Chaotic bad? Chaotic jerk? He doesn't like labels. There you go. The always splendiferous and definitely not a cake, Aki. Hi everyone. Uh, the cake is a lie. Um, I am is. Aki, and I play your um, verdant Willow Ajayi, who is a son of Aja from the Orisha Pantheon. Now this one I'm a little less positive about their cake ability, Abria Iyengar. Hello, I will never tell if I'm cake or not. You'll have to bite and find out. That was unnecessarily. That was sexual. That was a lot. That was Hi. a lot. I'm playing Megan Moore, uh, the daughter of Ares and the warrior playbook. And finally, they are not a cake, they are in fact a pie, a cutie pie, Sam Delev. Oh, shucks. What do you I want? I'm a stream dad. Delev. I am the muse, and I'm playing Belle's de Moy, Scion of Aphrodite. <laughs> Love to hear it. So, before we get into our game, a few quick announcements. One, we at Saving Throw you know, we got a lot of cobalt to feed. And now that we are all quarantining in our houses, we have all stepped up to the plate. We all have cobalts running around our houses now. They eat a lot and they get into a lot of stuff. They have destroyed my switch. All right, that thing's gone, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it because we have a sponsor in Hero Forge where you can make your own customized miniature. Perfect for gifts, perfect for your campaign, and soon you can have them paint, printed in color. That's right, you can have them made beautifully three-dimensional, all that good jazz, and you won't have to bother painting them poorly like I do. So special thanks to them. And like I said, we have kobolds to feed, and you can help with that. You can also help determine how the story is going to go. Will it be a good story? Will it be a bad story? Last week there was a murder. I'm betting on bad. But either way, your tips can help draw from Pandora's box, which is just a box of bad boxes. I love this thing. Horrible things happen, or sometimes good things happen. Doctor Who showed up last season. It was great. Uh, Sam nearly died for that one, and I appreciate them keeping their trap shed on it. It was too easy. It was just too easy. We all heard it in our heads. I mean, do Obviously. No Obviously. But your tips can also unlock some amazing extras, including right now a very special film noir black and white mystery episode, which might not be canon. I don't know. Who cares? But it should be fun. Uh, and before we get into anything else, we have to give a special shout out to our subscribers. And when you subscribe, you can either make good life choices and give, the, give your reroll to me, Steven, who desperately needs them, or to the players. They exist. They're fun, I guess. Like Katmi Gordon, who made a bad life decision and gives a reroll to the players. Uh, Nightshade 88. Oh, am I keeping track of this? Okay, hold on. Oh, oh no, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Okay, okay. You don't have to worry about it. Look at me being responsible and running oh my, my own God. game. How dare you? I refuse I know. to. <laughs> Puma Man Redux gives one to their players and just, you know what, Puma Man, I'm glad you got your sequel, but like, uh, no, do better. Give your rerolls to me. Uh, Not a sequel, it's a reboot. Whatever. Hestia Fist Nix, Nix Key. I'm probably saying your name wrong and I'm not going to correct myself because you gave a reroll to the players. And Monstrosity Jones, you are a monster. You gave two rerolls to the players. I hope you're proud of yourselves. So, last week on New Pantheon, the Hotel California, 
Grandpa Nathan, uh, the mentor to Will, called all four of you together to what's basically a retirement home for gods, a place where the forgotten and the unworshipped just go to be quiet. He called you there because someone he loved was murdered, a minor goddess known as the Plague of the Valley. Her death was violent and terrible. And you learned the following things. One, only a god can kill another god. Two, a god can die if dying is part of their narrative. Three, there are 108 sentient gods in the Hotel California. And four, there are 13 levels to the Hotel California. I'm going to give you guys this little recap because it is a murder mystery this season and I want you guys to be able to figure this out. Oh, and five. The only witness to the night where Plague of the Valley was killed was the yellow wallpaper who saw a blinding white light. But nobody else was in the room where it happens? No one else was in the room where it happened. I don't get it. I don't get that reference. Eh, I don't know. Some like musical thing. <gasps> I thought you didn't get it. <laughs> so, where we last left off, Megan, you had just gotten a consensual makeover by Bells. Enthusiastic consensual makeover. Enthusiastic consensual makeovers are the best kind of makeovers. Fact. Now you got this makeover and Flynn, you had an anime tsundere moment of, mm, it's fun, I guess, goo goo. <laughs> now between that moment and this moment, things got a little hairy, literally. Megan, you are currently pinned to a wall by something known as the voice in the woods. It has the body of a bear, the hands of an eagle, uh, the face of some sort of decrepit horse monster, and you two have been destroying the lobby. Oh my god. This is... Okay, I know what I said before. She's saying this casually to the group mid-fight. I know what I said before about me hating this place a bunch, but it's now my favorite, and I'm going to attempt to put him in a headlock. Okay, give me a smite roll. Yeah. And just as a reminder, I have a plus four to prowess. Yeah. And I only rolled a four, so I got an eight. <laughs> uh, while you're rolling, a very quick shout out to Monstrosity Jones for uh, giving us a toast. We will get to that in a moment. And a very special uh, shout out to Kantanawari. Thank you very much for that tip. Um, Thank so oh, is this like a mean fight or just, is, oh, this, this thing guy... showed up and was creating blood. So yeah, you don't oh. have to be nice. Okay. Uh, you know what? I want to take something. I'm not even going to try to exchange harm. Cause like, you can't be mean to old gods. It's like being, it's like yelling at a grandpa, but I do want to take something from uh, my enemy. And if I could pick, you said it's a decrepit horse face. Yes. I'm gonna take that lower mandible. I just want it. Oh. It's just for me now. Huh. You rip this thing off and it lets out an ear piece piercing shriek that echoes throughout the lobby of the Hotel California. Uh, hiding behind his desk is Victor, who every so often peeks out. Okay, they're still fighting. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna seek that. Seek that. Okay, so don't, don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. I think Megan's giggling, but she's gonna like lean into uh, this this jerk this jerk face's ear and say, "I'm having a very good time." But if you smudge my eyeliner that Belle did for me, uh, I I will literally kill you. I may not be a god yet, but I, I'll get close enough. I'll get as close as I can get. Oh, <laughs> how many animals are you? Because I will put all of them on the endangered species list, <laughs> and then go back to just like brawling. Yeah. What are the three of you doing? Um, uh, I actually wanted to interject really fast that we we talked about doing our pregame moves and then oh, forgot you to are do right. our pregame oh, moves. 
That is um, completely so, on me. I apologize. In a, pre in a totally separate game that's not this one, the creator of this game gave me two threads. So. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> it is All true. Right. Oh, Mark does on the character. Apparently they're universal threads. I oh. don't know. He made the rules. Yeah. I'm not going to argue with the, them. It's probably okay. Ah, it's, it's probably ah okay. that's their Twitter handle. Nailed it. All right. So we pause our combat real fast. Eh, don't worry about it. It's powered by the apocalypse. Combat can come and go as it pleases. Mm. And we do our start of session move. <clears throat> At the start of the session, ask the player with whom you have the highest value of tangle ratings to mark one of your basic moves and gain a thread the first time you fail a roll with that move. That's my uh, announcing stuff voice. Extraordinary, okay. professional, I call yes. I really am, I really am. All right, Megan, since we kind of started the scene with you in a row, who do you have the most tangled with? I am still uh, mostly tangled with Flynn, funnily enough. <laughs> All right, Flynn. Okay, uh, the first time you fail to perform under pressure. I would never do that. Yeah, no, no, I'm no. so smooth. We're gonna do karaoke. You're gonna have to sing under pressure. It's gonna be great. I've done hey. that. <laughs> pressure. All right. Uh, Mixter Sandalev. Who does Bells have the most tangle with? Also Flynn. Flynn is strangely like the interconnecting force of this uh, pantheon. It's because I piss out a lot of people off. You really do. It's true. You do have at least one of my like pissed off th threads. That's mm -hmm. the thing. It's perfect. Uh, um, no, literally on the sheet says, I'm going to bitch slap and then you just put Flynn. It's perfect. Uh, if Bells fails to Pierce the veil. Hmm. Oh. I love that because I conceivably might do it and conceivably might fail. Yeah. Thank you. That's a gift. All right. Mix Master Aki. Yep, Flynn. <laughs> How did it end up that we all ended up with the highest thread with our straight <sighs> cis white male character? What a tangled Oh no, it's an anime. And oh, look no. who is most practiced to deceive. No, it's so true. This is why it's this so is true. why the narrator wanted me to be the protagonist. Yeah, that um, was a problem last season. Uh, if, yeah, that's the reason. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that, that's the only reason. Uh, if Will fails to sway someone. No. Oh. Likely. Love that. All right, Shonen protagonist boy. I, I I got a tie between Bells and Megan. Okay. Um, I'm going to say it's your pick. Well, technically it would be Megan because it says Bells Pantheon, uh, but it, that's also Megan's Pantheon, so... Yeah, they're cousins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that would, yeah, we um, are. It's yeah. definitely not weird. It's not weird. Don't worry about it. I don't it. think it's weird. Everybody else it's thinks it's weird. It's only weird if you want it to be weird. Right? I mean, one could get weird. Anyway, let's let's just get back to what we're doing. Huh. <laughs> it's all great to me. Uh, but yeah, I guess the, technically Megan then. Okay. Uh, I would love to see you attempt to, hmm. Uh, attempt, back at you, perform under pressure and fail. I want to do what of you two now. Like on TikTok? Sure. Russia. <laughs> oh, I thought we were just doing, doing the dance. There's a which TikTok dance. There's so many. The one okay, that well, you do, do you do the, you know, the Doja that Cat. one TikTok dance. You do Doja Cat and then I'll do the ratchet one. <laughs> Done. <laughs> sure. All right, so with that out of the way, we get back to the story at hand. Victor is hiding behind the oak desk of the Hotel California 
a woman whose head is a lampshade sits next to a man who seems mostly frog and they're watching with glasses of wine kind of laughing at the uh, violence in front of them. Flynn, what are you doing? Um, okay. Uh, I Last time, let's see. Last time we were uh, doing stuff, I was questioning what's his face. And I don't remember where I went to after that. Uh, you were talking, I believe you were talking with Victor inside. Uh, yeah, inside the room. The Plague of the Valley's room. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I, like, I was gonna leave, but I'm not, like, I guess Flynn is, like, looking at, at Will and then looking at Bells and be like, No, we should absolutely not. Look how much fun she's having. Get him! And I'd like to provide aid. Okay, roll me yeah. provide aid. Yeah. <laughs> Roll 2d6 plus tangles. I roll awe instead. Oh, that's awe right. Awe that's awe. right. Also, your hair's too short. You don't get tangles. Oh, oh my god. god. Single strand knots. 14. 14. Oh my god. Is uh, this? So you get a uh, plus two and a thread. Oh my god, thank you. I love you. Oh, good grief. Kick his ass! Gonna! <laughs> uh, with that, Victor uh, kind of pops up again, this time behind the trash can. You didn't realize you were standing next to you. Please stop encouraging this. They're going to destroy the lobby. And I have to fix the lobby. Look, the shortest path between two points is Megan winning that fight very quickly. Uh, where did he come from? What? He just came off the elevator and attacked. I hate this guy. Oh, has he been a problem before? Oh, he's always a problem. Can a lot of I... problem gods around here? Is there such a thing as a non-problematic god? Mm, your gods are problematic. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, he's... That guy is uh, the creature in the forest. And he really thought he was hot shit back in like the 1700s. Right. And now I assume uh, Slenderman has rather taken that. Oh no, Slenderman. Niche. Okay. Listen, if you want to visit the internet ones, you have to go to the 12th floor. And I'm not doing that today. There are some parts of them that no one ought to go. Those are yes. better left for their own advice. Do they have that, 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 that cursed Zelda cartridge? Oh God, yeah, yeah, that one's here. We have him. I would love to meet that creepy, creepy cartridge. Anyways, uh, I, I want to do some research uh, to see if I can find anything about this this critter that's Megan's fighting. Okay, how are you doing that? The way you guys say fight. I'd, I'd like to provide aid. I'm I'm a I'm a scion of a, a nature god. I figure I probably can be of some use here. Fair enough. I shall provide aid to Flynn. Provide aid. But Flynn, how are you doing your research? Uh, I have access to every piece of information humanly possible on the internet, probably. Um, so there's got to be someone that uploaded something. Like, I got algorithms. I got AIs. I got, I'm going to, and and I'll, I'm also magic. So uh, I'm <laughs> going to... Uh, let me mm, okay you're going to pierce the veil what about like. hear me out okay. what about uh i have a move that says uh you mean this gate key where i'm able to produce a small object which is useful in the immediate situation could that small oh. object be a, a a the complete history of this creature give do you have to roll for this uh no because i have a puzzle box <laughs> Okay. which is my laptop. Your laptop. Uh... I, I okay, don't have do to roll the remember... first time. The second time I, ref I perform under pressure. But you can, like, if, if it's too much and I should roll, you can No, no, I'll allow this. But I will say this. Does everyone remember cats with a Z? Not the 
not the musical that was responsible for the end of the world. No, uh, this computer program where you had these little cats running around your desktop. Oh, dogs I had, yes. And I know that cats was also a thing that existed. It was one of like, had, the three pieces of software that ever came out for Mac OS. I had the sheep then. that would fall and land on top of your windows and like run and then fall. Yeah, your little sheep comes running out with a new window and it spits up a, uh, it spits up a, okay, what, a JSTOR. JSTOR, is that how you pronounce it? JSTOR? Oh, JSTOR, the research, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, it spits out a JSTOR link to a PDF of this old, like, frontiersman's journal. And underneath all the racism and horrible, horrible things that happened, uh, you do find information on the beast in the woods. Definitely not concocted when this man was incredibly drunk and lost in the goddamn woods. This god is more or less a forgotten relic founded by people's fear of the unknown and, well, Big monster energy. Thinly veiled racism. Got it. There's a little bit of that here. But a big part of it is just sort of, I'm in an unfamiliar place and there are things that can kill me. And currently the thing that can kill you is missing a low, lower jaw and has Megan pinned to uh, the marble floor of the Hotel California. And it's bleeding this green leafy ichor on you. Does it have any, like in my research, does it have any like, like uh, I can be said it, 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 it hates boiled ham bones. That's the only way to drive it back or whatever it is, you know. You do find that bullshit. it hates, uh, apparently uh, this man was able to appease his God with uh, small animal sacrifices and he managed to keep him at bay with loud noises. It sounds mostly just kind of like a deer, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> then I'm going to uh, put my phone on speaker and just start playing like just the 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 worst of dubstep. <laughs> so Megan, you have a soundtrack to your fight now. Day 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 day. Brown. I I don't know dubstep. Did uh, it get icker on my contour? It did not on your face, but it did get, it's on, it's on the outfit. Oh, I don't care. That's fine. Oh, wait, Bells, did you redo outfit too? I assumed. Yes, absolutely. <gasps> Very much. Uh, like you get halter tops. That's your thing now, because that's how you get the backlist just instantly and easily and completely without alterations to the designs. Not my halter top. <laughs> and I want to try to like, reverse the pin and then we're going to pull out the weapon and hit hard so can i can i do an attack again absolutely hooray and i have a plus two <laughs> okay uh so i rolled a 10 plus okay. two for provide aid uh is 12 plus my four is a 16 I plus have gone more because of will and oh yeah flynn playing 17 uh, 17 uh, I have God. Uh, not enough. Not enough, though. Mm. So when I smite my enemies, I all of them. I get all of them. I do all of them. All of them. Okay. Paint me a word picture. Yeah. Uh, so I think she is able to kind of like rock back and use her wings to like press down. And then she kind of just donkey kicks him up against the wall. And then she's just going to turn and like bum rush him. And while like sort of football tackling him. So the wings are taking any like, any hits that are getting back because she's able to kind of protect herself. She's just obliterating like anything in the torso region. I don't know if this guy's like bipedal. I'm assuming he is. I'm going for the soft meat under the belly. Like you don't show oh. the belly. And I just want to rip out as much of it as I can. Okay, so you slam him into the wall and both of you go crashing through into the indoor pool. Uh, people scatter as you both go splashing in and suddenly it is dyed black and green as you come up. Your makeup completely sm not smudged at all. Like, it's still... It would take a minor nuclear blast <laughs> to smudge your ma mascara. We have... 
we have the top two. We're, we're using the good stuff. Bells also knows the importance of powder. I'm just going to say that. Thank you. Yes. Much in the way Sam doesn't. <laughs> Matt Sam. spray and powder. I don't, okay, you need both. But I don't, I don't, we'll talk. Well, yes, you have flawless skin. You don't need it, but some of us do. Fact. Fact. Uh, but I think Megan sort, of walks, <laughs> Megan sort of walks out of the pool slowly. Uh, just a giant shit eating grin on her face. And she's like holding a long string in her hand. And I think she's sort of eviscerated him. I know he's not dead, but she's got him by a leash and she's going to drag the body. But you're dragging out of the ha- pool. he's half the man he used to be as yeah. you drag his uh, upper half up the stairs of the pool. And he just kind of. I guess this is what happens when you don't have jaw. You just kind of yeah. give yourself an overbite. Well, actually, he would have an overbite. It's just overbite. It's all overbite. I saw the golden compass, so I wanted to do that to you. Uh, Vic, where do I put this? Vic <laughs> peers from behind a pile of to- towels. He was, he, you know, ducked behind. J- just, just leave it. Just leave it wherever. Just like here, there's. It's wet. It's strippy. Or maybe put him in the locker room. Oh, there's a locker room? Oh my God, that's so nice. And she just begins to we drag and smear. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh I cool. I want to do Where's a tour. My Where's my mop? Hey, beast of the woods, show me around. And just drags it around. Uh-huh. See, draw droppingly beautiful. Oh, do you want this back? Hey, uh, she's going to toss the lower mandible to Bells. Fumble, just, drop. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm, <laughs> fair poor enough. Toss, poor catch. No, Come you're on. good. Spoils. A big, thank you for the. Okay. <laughs> She's just gonna kind of lead it on a. Just take it for a walk, like a kid with a new puppy. That's half of a dead god. Yep. Good to see some things now change. <laughs> Is that normal? Uh, Vic, Victor asked you got asked the three of you. What is normal? Let's say typical and avoid the notion of normalcy altogether. That's fair. Um, he kind of just picks up some towels and throws it on some of the goop. Yeah, this is, this is, this is gonna, this is my life. You should invent, invest in a wet pack. We have one. Okay. I need, I, I'm gonna have to get it. It's still gonna take a couple hours. Oh boy. Uh, anyway, uh, he looks to you, Will. Uh, so, where's your grandpa? Oh, he's your grandpa, right? I assumed you guys. You don't really look alike, but you kind of look. Al- you know what I mean? Like, I see the family resemblance. Well, he he was a little bit broken up. Uh, he might s- still be up there. Um, I I should probably. Uh, go check on him and make sure he's okay. Uh, hey, um, before you go, listen, I don't know any of you super well. <laughs> you guys just kind of showed up and one of you destroyed this wall. But like, it's okay if you need to take a minute to breathe, all right? Like, no one here is going anywhere. Will doesn't really know how to respond to that, so they just turn around and go back up to the room. Fair enough. Uh, you got you, spare rooms? Uh, I mean, if you want to check in, yeah, the hotel has however many rooms it needs. Okay. That's uh, actually how this, how uh, their grandpa's been here for a while. Okay, four rooms, please. All right. He just kind of plops down the mop and he takes a moment to stare at the carnage and it is just, 
We've all been to a motel where they haven't cleaned the pool in several years and there's just a lot of stuff floating in it that you, d you wish you never saw. Megan has proceeded to do that in about three minutes. So he kind of stares at that thousand yards and then goes back to his, uh, he goes to the front desk. And let me tell you something my mom used to tell me. Staring at it, it's not going to clean it up. You were really bad at cleaning your room growing up, weren't you? Uh-huh. That doesn't surprise me. All right. Megan's and I oh. guess you're on the third floor. Dope. So it's like, it's like cards or... They're keys. keys? They're okay. really old-fashioned keys. Megan's going to stick her head back in through the like hole in the wall and she has found the the like locker room area and has like her hair is already up in like a big towel and she's wearing a big robe that she like busted out the back of uh and she's like hey uh Flynn is there anything in there about the beasts of the woods being like poisonous and has like palm tucked under her arm and palm it keeps trying to like breathe on entrails and eat it like no I don't hold on no uh -huh. Uh, I'll look it up. Anything in there about poison? Uh, why don't you go ahead and pierce the veil for me? Okay. <laughs> I might as well do that. Uh, let's see. That's not one of the ones I'm godlike with. <laughs> oh, jeez. How dare. So that would be judgment. Unless I, I forget if I do anything special. I don't think I do when I pierce the veil. Nope, so it's just regular, regular old judgment. Uh, so I rolled an 11, minus one. Uh, so I think that that's good. That's three questions. Okay. Um, uh, what is, is, uh, is it poisonous? It's not poisonous. Okay. Uh, but it can't be good for you. Yeah, it's, so, so it's... How easy is it to clean up? Like, is it need like a solid degreaser? Or is it just kind of like a elbow grease? Or like, oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be Victor's life for the next thirteen hours. Like, this okay. thing is every, every okay. Have you ever gotten like uh, grass stains on jeans and you had to get that out? It's like yes. that. On I was Roy's. a child. Uh, and uh, third question, I guess, um, does it get? Does the smell improve or go or get worse? The smell? Yeah. Oh, it's so much worse. Okay. Okay. So I just go, I mean, it probably won't kill Palm, but like, you know, oh. we could get other food. Yeah. Uh, she's real into this, though. Uh, you can have a little bit. I oh, actually, truth. I didn't even bring her. She just appeared in like a sulfurous little cloud it was strange i'm not overthinking that. it yeah i mean when you have a hell dog it happens yeah yep. i just I'll put her down you. and she's now like playing tug of war with yeah. a with an intestine all right yep. and i'm just gonna go think fast and chuck a key at uh at megan i would like to catch it please <laughs> i'm not gonna stop you see i think she's still looking down at palm and then just whoosh. Yep. thank you and then he's going to hand keys to, to Will and Bell. <laughs> well, Will's not there, but Bell's can receive uh, their key. Sure, let's do that. That'll, that's great. Yep, let's do that. Is that a euphemism I'm not familiar with? No, it's just going to be a future source of tension, so let's get excited. Okay. <laughs> it forces an interaction. It's perfect. Yes. You receive your key. It is for the third floor. All right, and then I'll go track down Will and hand them their key. Yeah. Okay, got that. Cool. Yeah. No, I wasn't going to be like, here, can you get this to I mean, that was where I was going from this. It's like, okay, yeah, I guess I will go track down Will. <laughs> no, 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 no. Flynn gets to have the awkward Will moment this week. Mm. It, it's like a life changing road trip with Zuko, except not. Go watch Avatar. It's on Netflix. Oh, tough. <laughs> All right. Before we get to that, though, we have some subscriber unlocks. Uh, first up, Shadow Junior 630 has made a good life choice because they're a good person. 
who loves themselves and they gave me a re-roll. No, I would like to smite them, please. No, you can't because I love them and they're a viewer. Mm. Uh, Captain Obs gives one to the players because Captain obviously makes bad choices. Mm -mm. Good choice. And Vermin Lumen gives one to players. And I know it's Verum Lumen. I'm just going to say Vermin because like, how could you give them to players? All right, they don't deserve it. And you guys currently have eight play eight. And thanks to our wonderful audience, we have re-rolls for the table. So there are now five up for grab re-rolls. Thank you. These do not carry over. Smoke them if you've got them. Noted. Yes. So Flynn, you go up the old elevator and find yourself on the eighth floor. Uh, that is the floor that the Plague of the Valley once had, and it's where you find Will and Grandpa Nathan. Well, figured... really, before before uh, this happens, uh, Will is has been in the room uh, with their grandpa, basically trying to convince him to like go downstairs, you know, get himself situated with the room, like try and get some rest, maybe eat some food. Like they've basically just sort of been like trying to get him out of the room um, and to like maybe like do something. Uh, I need you to up. roll to sway someone. Mm hmm It should go well. Okay, go great. Go great. Well, at least I don't have a negative in awe anymore. True. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit? I mean, I have no awe at all. Um, despite having uh, dated, like, a paragon of awe for a while. Um, Seriously. Uh, but uh, I, I rolled a natural nine, so not bad okay um all right so mechanically they'll do it but they demand some kind of price and i would like to play the scene out because i feel like that's kind of worth playing out sure so you find grandpa nathan and you can just tell even though he looks younger than the last time you saw him he looks haggard and exhausted um he hasn't slept and you're willing to bet he hasn't eaten since he found the body and called everyone here He's uh, looking over the flowers left in a cross, uh, almost like maybe if he stares hard enough, something new will pop out to him. Papa? <sighs> yeah. Uh. Hi. Hey. Hi. Sorry. No. <sighs> okay. Papa, I think you should, maybe you should go and get some rest. Like, have you eaten anything? Have you, have you slept at all? No, to both. Well, you maybe should probably do that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. He um, stands up, pops his back a little. You don't have to stay here. None of you kids do. I was being selfish and uh, I can I can figure this out myself. You can, you know, you're all busy. You got a book. I have a book, yes. But I also have a family member whose heart is broken, who might care about very much. And I'm not going to leave him here to do this by himself. Thank you, babe. I'm really sorry. How come you never talked about her? I met your grandma, and after that, just didn't feel right. And honestly, she only... You're not like your friends, Will. You know that. You have a mom and dad. They're both human. I'm still human at the end of the day. I might, you know, have some magic and, you know, 
god blood in me, but I'm still human. Your friends, they have a direct line to their godhood. Your godhood comes from generations and generations of just a sleeping giant that has just we always knew there was going to be someone in the family like you eventually and there was a brief brief window where my daddy thought that was going to be me I think you would have been better at it than I have been sometimes. That you watch your mouth. <laughs> it wasn't me, and there was a reason it wasn't me. Your grandma, not your grandma, but you get what I mean. The reason she chose you was because you are you. And it doesn't matter if you feel like you're not the right choice. You are. But when I was young and I met her, any motions to the flowers? She told me I was the only one who could see her or know of her because of our family, because of your great grandma. We're gonna find a way. One of these days we're gonna figure out how to talk about her without being weird, I promise. She was a goddess that kept people from living a good life. She was the goddess of a horrible illness that swept through a small town. People still don't live there. It's just grassland. People refuse to move there. I don't know. And even though our relationship was probably, you know, you made me read that book about toxic relationships once upon a time. And there was that whole thing where you had me watch that documentary about that stuff. I don't know. It was on the Hulu. Um, Thank you for sitting with me while I was going through all of that. I, w I was happy to. Only fell asleep once. Uh, he was just really awful, okay? Should never have dated him in the first place, but I was not in a good place, so... If it makes you feel any better, me and your daddy went down, went down and we destroyed his car. I would never want to tell you that. I promise your daddy I wouldn't, but uh, whatever. Oh. He had insurance. I'm sure they found it eventually. Sure. Anyway. Well. You know then that even if it's bad, and you know it's bad, it still matters. He pats you on the knee as he stands up again and walks towards the door, which just sits in the middle of this grassy valley. I'm going to head down to my room, get a drink, take a nap. Get food, Grandpa. I'll get some food. And as he leaves, you see Flynn in the door. I got his places. There you go. Catch yourself a room. Thanks, Flynn. Everything all right down there? Uh, I mean, for us. Thanks Megan for... put a few more holes in the, the pool room, but, you know, it's not... It's, no, it's somebody's job to take care of. It's fine. We really ought to be nicer to the people who work around here. Hey, he, he attacked her. All right. 
What's she supposed to do? Just stand there? Oh, I thought we were talking about something different. Sorry. Um, thanks for sticking around. I know this isn't really your business and you've got no skin in this game, but I appreciate you sticking it out with me. Yeah, this is weird. And, you know, I like weird. I like things I don't understand. Noted. <sighs> what am I doing, Flynn? Uh, well, right now, you're going to go to your room and sit and take a breath, maybe put some water on your face, and uh, just breathe for a minute. Also, can you tell me when it is in this friendship that you became the person who gave sage advice? Uh, probably last February. Fair enough. I would really like to stop being a mess anytime soon. I mean, isn't that what we all say? Yeah, well, I will have to talk to them at some point. Just don't have any idea what I'm going to say. I don't know if there's anything to say. I mean, yeah, like, I don't know. What, what are, like, what is something that you feel needs to be said or is left unsaid? And if it's nothing, then maybe nothing needs to be said. As far as I can tell, they're still them and I'm still me and those things haven't changed and so and I'm, I'm not not to not to call you out on some stuff but it seems to me you've had a, an issue in the past of not talking about things yeah it's my major flaw and this is kind of that but also a little bit not. It does kind of go to what you said about maybe there just isn't anything more to be said. Maybe there's just nothing left there to. Yeah. Maybe you're just picking at a wound, but I can't tell you. I guess all of this is as good a time as any to figure it out. Though I wish it would maybe possibly hurt just a little bit less. I mean, that's, that's not how this shit works. I'm really glad that you're here and I'm very happy to see your face back at you I know that uh, there are people who might say otherwise but uh, I definitely consider myself super lucky to have you as a friend why have people been saying things who's been saying thanks give me names <laughs> we'll just give them a hug I've never had anyone I can consider a sibling more than you. I'm really, I'm really not an only child with you around. I mean, I was until last year, so I get it. And you have a pretty cool sister. I mean, don't, t don't tell her that. It'll go right to her head. Well, she already knows. She doesn't really need anyone to tell her so. Yeah, so we don't have to say it. Well, positive reinforcement is also nice on occasion. Because this is the part where you say, oh, you're a pretty cool sibling too. Oh, well, yeah. No, that's what I was, like, I was saying. Like, same samesies. Get out of here. Thanks for the key. No problem. So, Flynn, as you leave, um, 
you see a string of army ants marching up the hallway. And they all stop and give you a salute when they see you. Drones? Uh, when you address them, they begin to sort of circumvent together and make a tiny, it looks like a head sticking out of the carpet. And it says in a voice that sounds like a hundred voices at once. Sign of Robin Hood. Yeah. Mm, then you might be. Oh, I am the ant god. Well, a ant god. I am, well, it's complicated. It's lovely to meet you. So, uh, apologize for my ignorance. Are you the human humanity's representation of, of the god of ants or are you worshiped by enough ants? I'm not entirely are, sure. I used to think I was made because someone got desperate on a deserted island with ants, but now it could be any possible things. Okay, all right, that's fair. I was just like, if, if ants suddenly worship gods, that sh shatters my reality. Of, uh... We could be that. I mean, all you really need to do is think of something as cosmic and important and... Uh, I mean, Oof. it makes about it, it makes about as much sense as I mean, ants fight in pointless, bloody wars, just like we do. So, it's true. Maybe it's for God. Do a lot of those, but they're not pointless for our beautiful queen. It's true. It's she true. has the fattest ass you've ever seen. It is truly spectacular. I can imagine. I can only mm. imagine. Yes. Uh, so, how's it going, Ant God? Oh, it's going good. Ever since our little incident, I've been uh, patrolling the floor. Fair, fair. You seeing anything on your patrols? Well, I have seen this, if you'd like to follow. And the head kind of grows uh, spider legs and skitters across. Follow me, follow me. It's very the thing. Okay, let's go. Yes. Uh, he leads you down the hallway and you find yourself at a door with its hinges broken off. Hmm, yeah, that seems, that seems, yep. Yeah. Yes, I believe he went down to the lobby and got into a very violent fight with your friend, Megan. I mean, if you want to call it a fight. Oh, no. He got his ass kicked. Yeah. Yes. I would pay her good money to do that to me. I mean, she'll take you up on that offer. Oh, very good. Very good. You see, all ants are... We're, we're all in the femdom, you see. All of us. Every single one. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The forest creature thing busted. Ah, out. yes, yes, yes. Follow me, sir. Follow me. Uh, he turns from the head with the spider legs into just a, you know, string of army ants, and walks over the broken half of the door. All right, I'm gonna follow in. All right. Inside, you find an incredibly dense dark wood. It reminds you of. Have you ever been north to like the Pacific Northwest? You asking me or are you asking Flynn? I'm asking both. Uh, probably yes to both. All right. Uh, you find that type of wood where it's so dark, you cannot tell what time of day it is. And it's so, it's a sea of trees. Yes, as you can see, the voices are coming in the line now, but they managed to just be in unison enough. There's one guy who's a little slow and is throwing everything off, but don't worry about him. As you can see, uh, he's, his room is rather spacious, but uh, we don't know what exactly set him off. Yeah, seems like, okay, okay, I just thought- He is what we'd call a dick weasel most of the time, but even yeah. still. Yeah, like, so not often does he just randomly attack people? No. Okay. Okay, so that actually, yeah, that's intriguing. That's good. That, that's a good find. That's a good find, Ant God. Because um, we are here to investigate something. Please call me Gary. Gary. All right. Nice to yes. meet you. I'm, I'm Flynn. I don't know if I, I mentioned that. Oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're ants. We literally have ears everywhere. Mm -hmm. Same. Mm. In fact, Terrifying, if you want it, but I respect you, it. If you ever wanted to, like, I don't know, like, you ever seen the movie Ant-Man? I'm just... 
I'm not familiar. Uh, it's 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 decent, uh, you know. But like like you know, just listening equipment or you know, placing, you know, digital bugs. Like having bugs to place bugs, man. Oh, uh, if you want digital bugs, you have to go to the twelfth floor. Okay, I don't want those. Uh, but uh, thank you. Yes. So, so Dick Weasel went crazy. Just a generally unpleasant person to be around. Yeah, but ruins dinners. But not, not go trash things and try and murders that often. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. So maybe someone put them up to it. Let's see what we can't find. I would like to uh, maybe just maybe uh, just kind of like scan the area, see what what I can find. Hmm. All right. Go ahead and pierce the veil then. I shall, I shall, I shall. Let's see how I did. Not good. Um, I, yep. Yep. You have uh, rerolls? Oh, yeah. You do have ahead. plenty of rerolls. In fact, we have some more rerolls, including one from, oh, wait, no, I already gave these three. Let me delete them. Why didn't I do that? I'm a fool. You can give us more. That's fine. No, but you guys do have plenty of rerolls, uh, including five that the chat unlocked for you all. That's right. Nice. All right, I guess Thank I you. will reroll. We'll see how well that does. Uh, a little better. Uh, a little better. Uh, that's an eight. Um, minus one is seven. OK, you get to ask two questions from the list. OK. I will ask, how about, um, what here, let's see. Uh, what is the greatest danger in this place? Well, if he wasn't, if, it, if he wasn't cut in half and currently being chewed on by a Pomeranian, I would say the creature of the woods. But right now, the most dangerous thing is actually a piece of yellow wallpaper you find. Okay, okay, that's that's uh, and uh, what happened in this place recently? Well, judging by the claw marks on everything and the pushed over trees and just how he was acting downstairs something set him off okay fair enough fair enough yeah all right all right gary thank you thank you this is actually this is actually interesting uh yes yes i'm quite happy to be of assistance sir all right no problem you keep you keep a head heads heads up all right you let me know they all salute. We cut back down to the ground floor where Victor is giving a tour to uh, Megan per request. Yep. All right, so those are our tennis courts. Uh, here's our Ooh, chapel. Uh, Sometimes gods like to get married. Hi, whatever. Um, what? Like from different pantheons? Mm, well, these guys don't really have pantheons, but a handful of times, yeah, you know, if they have one. Okay. I mean, who's going to stop them? I'm not. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, down here, we have the cafe. There's the bar. There's the other bar. One's nicer than the other. Uh, and Wait, which one's the good one? Oh, uh, today it's that one. Yeah, okay. That one. I will never, I solemnly promise to endeavor to not hurt the good one. Cool, cool. I'll let you know if it changes. Thank you. Yeah. And here is the restaurant. Oh, okay. Wait, do gods eat? Some do. Huh. Do you? I'm not a god yet. I mean, emotions to your wings and your crown. Oh, that's fair. You can see those. Uh, yeah. Soon. Not yet. I mean, 
you're on your way, right? I know. Where are you going to be a god of? Uh, not super sure. Uh, feels like something ragey and battley, probably. You know, Greek shit. Mm, fair enough. Have you? Are you going to be like super specific? Are you going to be like the rage of a woman in combat? Or are you going to be just Ooh. like, uh, you know, huh. kind of like base yourself off Hera and just be like the female yeah. id? Ooh. I'm sorry. I'm asking way too personal questions. No, this is great. I genuinely never considered it. Yeah. Which feels dumb. Not dumb. I don't know. I guess I'll kind of see how things shake out. I mean, you can't be dumb. You have a Pomeranian. Dumb people don't oh, have Pomeranians. You. Oh my God, thank you. Uh, watch out, she breathes fire. And I don't know how oh. flammable you are. Uh, well, I'm a guy. Yeah, but like, you can see my crown and wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Like, how human are you? Like, 100%. are you like fate touched though? I'm more like fake tea bagged. I mean, you could, yeah, you're, you're like, you said something about a curse or a cult. I wasn't super listening. All right. <clears throat> hold up, hold up. Actually, you want to follow me into the chapel real quick? We have, a, we have, a, my grandpa got portraits made. Oh, uh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, inside the chapel is some beautiful stained glass that looks like it's on fire. Oh. Yes. And on the walls, you see uh, a mural. Starting from basically uh, the time of the dinosaurs leading up to present day. There's a lot of time skips in this mural. Okay, okay. All right, so about here, and he points to a section of the wall where there is a divine light coming down on a man who has fallen to his knees and he's doing the whole mm. number. So here is my great, 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 whatever grandfather. Mm. In fact, he discovers a God. Okay. Here's my, here's my grampy's cult. Here's my grampy's cult falling apart. Here's my grampy making the first hotel California for his God, oh. et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Basically my family decided once upon a time we were going to be the caretakers of gods. And now here's me. I mean, you seem pretty pressed. Like what if you just don't do it if you don't want to? I don't know, do you like this? I can't tell. I don't I even don't know anymore. Oh. Huh. Like, th okay. So when did this start for you? Uh, like the physical man, I've known uh, I was Aries' kid since I was six. So, yeah. you know, as long as I've had memory. <laughs> well, I've known since I've been able to talk that eventually I was going to be a caretaker of forgotten gods. Hmm. Big mood. Big mood. Oh. Yeah. What would you even do if you weren't this though? I think I'd be a dentist. Ah. Uh, they make good money. There's... Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna knock anyone's dreams. Oh, I don't have those. Oof. Big mood? This, yeah, too big a mood. I'm gonna punch a wall pretty soon. This is okay, kinda, please kinda don't close. do it in here. Please don't do it in here. Yeah, please I'm don't not do it gonna. I'm just, I, I can't control myself mostly. I just, that's heavy shit. I'm sorry for what it's worth. I'm sorry to you too. all I've ever known. And she kind of just turns and walks out. Come on, keep showing me stuff. What are you okay. doing? Okay, Where I'm coming, I'm coming. 
and he runs after you. Bells, where are you right now? Yes, I think I am in the ballroom dancing with the Lord of the Dance, who is the the patron god of uh, his real name, his real name, Jitterbug, Mazurka, Mazurka. Uh, uh, so like really well tech because like jitterbug that still comes on the radio occasionally people that's still true slightly true. extant people actually do dance those i learned it for like five minutes the mazurka less so music not the dancing so bells is follow right now in it but if they dance about five more minutes of it they will be able to lead it uh and it might seem like they are flirting, but they are investigating. They're investigating. Oh, shit. Okay, all right. We all have our different methods. Yes, so step one, two, step one, two, step three, four, step five, six. You are picking this up magnificently. Thank you. You're a good teacher. Oh, thank you, thank you. Well, obviously not that good. If I was better, I wouldn't be here. Now step one, two, and twirl, and twirl, and you have this so well. We can't always rely on mortal trends to go our way, right? <laughs> These things change over time, and here you are dancing as beautifully as ever. Oh, thank you. But you can't rely on mortals for anything, except for letting you down. They will always do that. Oh, tell me about it, and they do an excessive uh, twirl out of that. Though I'm surprised to see someone so young here. The youngest person we had was, uh, well, they live on the 12th floor and I don't go there. Oh, yes, I hear that's full of internet. No, full of electronics, as I call it. Internet as well, I suppose. I'm on the third floor. It's the nice floor. It is indeed. It's the floor where I find myself. Oh, no, you're not on the fourth floor. That's interesting. Oh, What's the fourth floor for, then? Humanoid. Do I seem annoyed? <laughs> Wordplay. That's on the... That is on the ninth floor. Mm. Wordplay is but the footwork of the mouth. I can't disagree with that. And occasionally it goes terribly wrong, and then you find your foot in your mouth. <laughs> well, some people are into that. So, so what's the third floor if it's not where the humanoids go? Where have I been placed? You've been placed on the art floor with me. Oh, perfectly lovely. Who mm -hmm. else is there with us? Oh, all sorts. You have the forgotten dances. You have the missing paintbrushes. You have the, oh, you have the art block. We don't talk to him. Oh, I can only, I can only imagine. So have, has there been, it's, it's a quiet floor though, right? I mean, oh, surely it's not for hell. lack of music sort of thing, but you know, peaceful. I mean, it's noisy as all get out, but yes, it is quite peaceful. We do all get along. There isn't much we disagree on other than everything, but at the very least, at the end of the day, we all respect each other, or we all respect we're in the same boat. Unlike? Well, art is an interesting one. One day you're in, the next day you're out. But all it takes is one person to remember, and then suddenly you're back on top. Ah, to be retro-fashionable. Hmm. We had a movie here once that people just completely forgot, and now it's adored. They make movies about the movie. Hmm. Do you remember which one? It had something to do with a hotel. Are they also staying on our floor? I think I would love to meet them. <laughs> oh, they're not here anymore. They're in Hollywood. Which isn't far, to what I understand. 
I don't leave the hotel much, you see. I know. It's safe in here. And not out there? I was told once that as I'm no longer relevant and I no longer have a cult, if I get hurt out there, it's permanent. I thought only gods could kill gods. What's a god to a non-believer? So perhaps not killed, but hurt? Don't know. Never wanted to risk it. Fair enough. So that means that people actually do check out of here, like your hotel friend. Oh, absolutely. Some people check out permanently. Other people just come and go as they please. We're not prisoners, after all. We just know that outside is a world that doesn't want us anymore. Has there been a lot of turnover recently? You mean new guest? Yes, people coming, people going, anything like that. <sighs> the only guest I know who are coming in and out. And he kind of says that with this sort of heavy understanding of, oh, this is why you chose to dance with me are on the upper floors, and I dare not go there. The electronics, I understand, but all the upper floors? The angelic, the demonic, the cosmic. I don't want to be involved with things like that. No, it's better to just dance. Do you have That'll the feel okay. for this polonaise? Ah. I could go for another spin. Absolutely. And as you are spun, uh, Victor leads Megan inside the ballroom. And here's the last stop on the ground floor. And it's, uh, oh, it's a deuce. Four, oh! Hey, bells. The dress goes twirl, 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 all bacon swooshy. <laughs> you look amazing. My ear is bleeding. What is this? Oh, this, this is Chopin, come on. Okay, no, mm, I'll wait here. I'm good. There's no accounting for taste. Thank you so much, Lord. I'll see you around, third floor. You know where to find me. What room? 307. Thank you. Huh. Megan, how have you been? You got everything cleaned up with the jawless wonder god? Uh, Megan isn't making eye contact with you. She's just sort of mad dogging the mazurka god. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> hey, sorry, what? Yeah, god, uh, cleaning. I didn't do any. What? I put up some yellow tape and that's all I'm going to do because I know when I start, I'm not gonna be able to stop for a while. Okay. And Megan wanted a tour. I did. I got to see, there's a, there's a lot of cool stuff here. There's also like a church with a mural. What's on the mural? Family dinosaurs. history mm, yeah. and dinosaurs. Mm. Yeah. I suppose if you're a dinosaur god, it doubles as both. Oh my God, are there dinosaur gods here? Can yeah, I fight floor. a dinosaur god? Please don't fight anyone. Unless okay. they absolutely I didn't start the other fight. No, you just finished it. I'm just requesting you don't start fights. You can finish all the fights you'd like. All right. Seems reasonable. I try to be. Fine. Very reasonable. You're a very good human. Uh, so what have you been up to, Bells? Uh, finding out about what's on what floors. I've been hearing a oh. lot about the electronics up on 12. And apparently the upper floors are full of angels and demonic and everything. And I yeah, mean, no, we're already on aesthetic math. and I just look at the wings. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I, it didn't even occur to me that we could be getting information for the murder or anything while we were here. So good call. 
you know, oh, the wow. sooner you literally we can just want me to give you a tour. Oh yeah, I was bored. I have a lot of like, you know, a lot of adrenaline to walk off from doing a fight. I mean, investigation. I'm a detective. We're we're doing the best with what we are. Mm-hmm. And if the murderer tries to come at us, we have the perfect skill set to keep us safe. Exactly. I don't do the solvey part. I do the fighty part. I do the talking to people part, yeah. I guess. So it's not really a person, but yeah, I guess so. Well, like all of you guys are like concepts. That's For the purpose the of having your concept. An interior life and wants and needs and personally enough hmm. fair enough oh bells uh yes. he you see victor take out a small notebook and he scribbles something down real fast and, and hands it to you uh here's more or less how the hotel breaks up everyone oh. thank you on the 13th floor are the cosmic entities the 12th electronic the 11th demonic the 10th angelic. The ninth are the abstract. The eight are na- the eighth floor are nature. Okay. The seventh floor is luck. There's a lot of casino shit on that floor. Don't go there if you don't want to, if you don't want to lose some money. Uh, the sixth floor I just label horror because uh there's a lot of dolls. Oh no thank you. No thank you. The fifth floor, ocean. It's very wet. The fourth floor, humanoid. The third floor, art, as you know. The second floor is void. Where prohibited? Mm Mm-hmm. Except everything in there is prohibited because there's nothing there. Well, to avoid it then. There's things of nothing there. It's complicated. Ah, yes, the nothings. And the first floor is, uh, you're standing in it. I got all of them. Good. (laughs) Nice. I'm looking forward to taking notes on the VOD. (laughs) (laughs) See, that's the smart play. (laughs) Okay. Uh, so what, what's, what's the plan? You're, you're the brains. Bells. Brains, brawn. I thought the little the guy other was. Two. I thought the little one was the brains. No. No, Bells is the brains. Mm. I'm the something. We we switch roles as needed, I'm sure. And all of us have our Stop own virtues. Stop deflecting. Is- Sorry. You're in a mood. Should I'm in a we weird find mood. I don't know if that will help or not. Ugh. I blame Victor. He made me think about like- my What life. I do? Ugh. What's the word for when you think about like your whole like being? Existential. Oh, did you have an existential moment? Yeah. Uh, it's like a panic of that. Got a lot of those your on the fault. second floor. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, hey, it's not my fault. We were bonding, I thought. Well, who doesn't bond over the ultimate absurdity and potential purposelessness of existence, right? The Lord of the Dance comes dancing by, also on the second floor. (laughs) I like that. What is this music? It's like a polka and a waltz had a weird baby. You know, in fact, musicologically, you're not so far off. Huh, okay. It's uh, kind of a bop. Hmm. They are. They're all Polish. Love it. There you go. <laughs> well, we're looking for someone who's a bit of a blinding light. Um, Cosmic would do that. Angels would do that. I mean, we can sort of go by, given that there's a, a taxonomy here. Most likely candidates to be glowy and violent. 
oh, oh, hold on. Like the plague of the woods uh, is like a bad thing, right? Like it's like a like a plague. So what? You mean plague if, of the valley. I mean the valley. Sorry, it's a thing of a place, and I just fought. I'm covered in the ichor of a woods thing, and I'm sorry if I get distracted. Well, I said I early thought, on that I'm not the brains. I thought you took a shower and you've been wearing a bathrobe the whole time. No, I, I'm. It's really sticky. There's still some like. It, anyway, um, play is there a valley. thing I can do like a weird maybe? I will let you do a- because this is outfit related. This is <laughs> all outfit right, all right. Jason. Bend fate. All right, let's do it. It's like you're when you're little and you get like weird tree sap on you and you're like, ah, it's just sticky. It'll come off eventually. Yeah, and how do you make it go away? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Thanks for the high inclined, high enthusiasm army. Hi. Oh, thank you, enthusiasm army. Enthusiasm army. Thank you. I do not. <laughs> okay. Uh, on a botch, choose one bane and the fates will have their price. Dealer's choice, of course. Okay. It is my pleasure. You, well, first of all, it's just gonna go tits up real fast. Uh, as you stop, it's figure of speech. I don't deserve nice these figure, looks. I like to think. I don't deserve these looks. <laughs> okay. The you attempt to fix the outfit and <clears throat> nothing, nothing. Nothing. Um, suddenly, the whole ballroom goes black. I move protectively in front of Megan, despite how incredibly stupid that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's just gonna, um. <laughs> you hear a jostling. And you hear someone bump into the record player as it begins skipping the same part over and over again. You hear a bit of a row and you feel something wet flop in front of you. Oh no, please, 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 no, please don't be a body. Please don't be a body. Please don't be a body. Uh, so many mysteries before, please don't be a body. Victor turns the lights on and in front of you is the Lord of the Dance. I would like as a reaction, if I can, cause I have divine speed, I want to spin bell spells to me and like kind of take their head and just kind of hide them from it. I will allow that. Just <laughs> Yeah. Hey, uh, Megan, go. you see the Lord of the Dance. His skin has been peeled off. What's there? Oh, what's there? What's going on? What's happening? No, there's oh more. Uh, I left some beast of the woods. Uh, would you mind if we move very quickly while I'm holding you? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You see the color drain from Victor's face as he just stares at you, Megan, and gives a nod like, I got it. Yeah. Okay. She's definitely also doing the like, you good? Is this so? Okay. And then I'm going to like get her out of the room as fast as possible. All right. Okay. Okay. And then what happened? sort of. What happened? It was. Uh, Lord of the Dance. I don't remember what his name was. I'm sorry. But I'm about to ask if he's all right, and I don't like where I think that answer's going. Uh, do I have a stronger sense of like me roughhousing with Beasts of the Woods? Like they will recover in time. Yes. Like that's what I saw from the Mazurka is very, very different. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Just check it. Uh, and Megan is no longer making eye contact with Bells. Just. <gasps> and upstairs on the fourth floor where Will Ajayi is resting, there's a knock at the door. And that is where we are going to call a break. Because I am what? A jerk. You're the worst. Absolute stinker. You I'm are the stinker. worst, Bear. Before we go, before we go, and before I am the worst, Burr, we have a few more subscriber unlocks. 
The T-Boys gives one to me because they're a good person who does good things and deserves good things. I hope you have a wonderful dinner and like find $20 in your jeans while you're doing laundry, okay? You're gonna have a great day, okay? You're gonna have a great day. Unlike Chandra V to G, who gives one to the players because they are what? Stinky. Just stinky. Stinky, uh, stinky, stinky, stinky. Oh, and Leah Sky, more like Leah Stink because they get another oh. one to the players, like a stinky bad person. Huff, I've never been more offended in my life. I'm so <laughs> offended, we're going on break now. Don't go anywhere, we'll be back in five. Hello everyone, and welcome back to New Pantheon Hotel California. Before we get into it, we have a few things to address. First of all, thanks to the chat's generous tips, we have unlocked Fate's favor on a random player. So I will be using this D4, which somehow does not mess with my green screen. And it goes to Aki. <laughs> Order All is, is right restored. I was just about to say, <laughs> the universe has righted itself once again. Hey. Fate's favors to Aki. All's right in the world. <laughs> Seriously. And we actually have a few toasts to address from our beautiful audience. First up, from Monstrosity Jones. Ahem. I am proud of myself. God kids for life. Well, I disagree with you, but amen to that. Cheers. Thank you. Ooh, Ooh and now we have a Kantanawari toast. Always fun to read. To Pantheon new, fates entwined. To reign and guide forever. To those that bring justice unto the world and those that with hand and word. May the dice bring you glory, or at least a funny pratfall. Baker demigods need to apply within. Amen to that. Thank you. Also, Eric got Popeyes. He's not sharing, so we all hate him, okay? Uh, I warned you at the beginning that that, that was happening. This so, feels like against TOS. Like, that's how good that Popeyes looks. I mean, <laughs> you've got Popeyes. Did, 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 what size did you get? Just, just curious. Yeah, what'd you get? Did you get the sandwich? Yeah, I got the spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah, but dude, what the what Fuck are the you. sides? Oh, I, all I got was fries because I don't want all that calorie. It's like I mean the fries you, are from Popeyes, Popeyes, but you but you didn't get red beans and rice. That's like the thing. Yeah, you made I, a listen, mistake. Yeah, I know. Listen, how many biscuits you get? I didn't do the order. I didn't do the order. Did you get biscuits? I I didn't do the order. Eric, okay. what even is the point? Dead to me. The sandwich, that's I all mean, I'm into. The bis like not having the biscuit, I can kind of understand he is streaming. And if you try to eat that biscuit during stream, you won't be able to talk anymore because you, your mouth will dry out. You, that's why you either <laughs> butter the biscuit or you do that thing where you take a bark. Yeah, bark, yeah, bark yeah. Going on and you Listen, drink I didn't come soda. all the way here to get criticized for my order. Well, you you just said you didn't do the order, so. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, Jacques. <Ew. laughs> I'm trying to do, I'm trying to balance a lot of plates right now. Okay, can I just eat my sandwich? Can we Fine. all just take a quick moment to uh, uh, to say how much we love and appreciate Dom's hard and difficult job? Yes, uh, we do. Because he he definitely has, uh, he, the, the people who produce these, these, uh, these uh, remote streams, they do a lot, y'all. Imagine what it's like producing us. Oh, yeah. appreciate it, Dom. Ridiculous. It's a herd of cats. When Dom said he was going to start hosting the stream, I was like, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, we have a few more toasts, though. Warrior of Books. <clears throat> Murder and mystery at the hotel. Our heroes have wandered in, but will they wander out? Within the eye and team, practical, tactical, brilliant, three growths, and you mean this gate key, there's no way they won't. To Bells, Megan, Will, Flynn, the Herald, that's me. And Dom. Amen to that. Aww. Thank you very much, Warrior Books. Playbook moves. That's so good. Oh, you mean this one? Yeah. <laughs> Next up, and our last one. FT Kaiboy. Hey, Sam, I have a guinea pig update. Two of Foley kids have had their own kids. We own 10 now. Love y'all. I feel like I'm missing context here. I've been getting updates on these guinea pigs for like now generations uh, because the uh, parent guinea pig was named for uh, one of my rogues, Dolly, because, you know, couldn't find him. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> uh, 
Thank you for the update, Kai. Oh, I high key love guinea pigs so much. I'd want a guinea pig. Uh, oh, they're, so they're mean. They're no, mean. Really only mean. if they don't like you. No, they're just, they're mean. It's not true. I don't know. I don't question these things. I have a single data point and therefore we'll disagree with you. That's it is how the internet, statistical significance works. Mm -hmm. I'm an outlier. Malcolm Gladwell said so. We live in weird times. So before the break, there was yet another dead god. And Will has someone at their door. Yes? Can I, who is it? Hello? Will goes up to their door and like looks around for a second and sees if they have anything in the room that they can stand on to look through the, the eye hole with because they, they're too short to reach it. Um, they're four not and okay, they're, they're very short. Oh yeah, no. Why don't you go ahead and give me a judgment roll? I'm not going to make this pierce the veil. It's just going to be a uh, look around roll. Um, because if I learned anything from Aubrey, it's that sometimes you can break the game. It's okay. It moves things along. That's six. Can I have a reroll, please? You may use a reroll. We have plenty. It's still a six. All right, um, I'm not going to, I'm just gonna hold on to that hard move for later as you don't find anything. Who is it? Hello? Uh, I put like the slidey lock in or like the little flip thing, whatever it is that like- It has both. Yeah, I put, the, I put that on and then like crack the door very, uh, very, very small crack as I open the door. Yes? There's nothing there. Um, can I use my ask questions later ability? Uh, what is that ability? Uh, so I had to, t I took a move from another playbook uh, I took it from the Reaper playbook. It's called Ask Questions Later. Give me just a second to scroll through here really fast and get, get it for you. Uh, you ask a dead person a question. You may not call on the same person twice. This works best if you have the person's body, but if you need to do it by remote, they're long dead, for instance, you can roll with fate's disfavor. Uh, on a 10 plus, you may ask them two questions. On a seven to nine, you may ask them one. And then on a six, you may take one harm and ask me a question or let it go. Okay. Um, I don't see anything. Do I feel anything? You feel nothing. Um, okay. Um, Yes, I can try. I'm gonna go ahead and roll with fate's disfavor and see what happens. <laughs> Who are you trying to call? Uh, I, Will is running on the assumption that if they can't see it, that must mean because it's it can't be seen. Uh, the only thing that they have any immediate knowledge of, of things that can't be seen are like spirits and ghosts and things like that. So they're thinking it could possibly be uh, the ghost of the Plague of the Valley. Um, so they're going to run with that for now. Okay. Marks of Mischief, thank you for the raid. Holy shit. Holy shit. Well, I mean, it's Fates' disfavor, but I, 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 I rolled two sixes and a one, so. Oh. Uh. But you I have to use a reroll and see if you can get that one something better. I mean, can I roll just the one? I'd allow it. Sure. Yeah, Why right. not? I'm going to take a picture of this. This is a fucking. Please amazing. put it on social and please tell me what it is. I rolled triple sixes. 
How do you like that? Oh! Don't forget to take a thread. Ooh. Take a thread. I take forgot. A thread. Take that a I thread. finished a fight. <laughs> All right. So that's going to be 12. Yes, with face disfavor. I love this. Okay. And I may ask them two questions. Right. As you attempt to channel into the cycle of life, which does include death, uh, you hear a thwap as something falls off the rather generic nightstand in your room. It's the notepad next to the phone that's fallen. And someone has written, hi, with a little hark for the eye. Uh. Will kind of just sets the, the notebook back on their bed with a pencil uh, next to it or whatever, and kind of also sits on the bed. Who am I talking to right now? You hear the scritching noise as you watch the pen kind of come up and start writing on its own. Uh, my name is Puberty Lost. What's your name? I'm Will. Why can't I see you? Because I'm lost. Do you need directions? No, I just wanted to meet you. Me? <laughs> Why? Oh, it's rare for someone like me to find someone to talk to. What do you mean by that? Oh, I'm nothing. Okay. Then, okay. That doesn't exactly answer my question. Some gods, it writes out. Uh, it actually realizes it's running out of room and you see the paper sort of rip itself off and start over. Some gods don't get to have bodies or be seen. Wear ideas. The idea of losing one's puberty, I mean, puberty. You're an idea. Yes. It writes. What qualifies as puberty lost? I was a 13 year old girl and when she died I was left in a void. So you our unrecognized potential or unrealized? Uh, they draw a little, they draw a sun wearing sunglasses, draw it with a little thumbs up. Why me? Oh, because I could talk to you, at least a little. You can't talk to other people here? <laughs> no one, no one on my floor can. Who, who are you normally able or typically able to talk to? No one. It rips off another piece of paper. Would you be able to talk to my friends? Maybe. But at least I can talk to you. This way. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm still a little bit confused about what makes me different from everybody else.
Mm. I feel like you lost something too. <laughs> something that might not have ever existed, but you feel like you lost it. I think that happens to most humans. We're not human. Still mostly human. Are you? <sighs> I'd like to think so. Well, I didn't mean to make you sad. I'm sorry. Lots of things makes me sad these days. Such is life. Maybe that's why I can talk to you and you can hear me. Or at least hear me when I make noise. Maybe, uh, maybe so. Um... I don't suppose you know anything about what happened with the plague. The death of a god is on my floor, but he doesn't talk much. I'm sorry, you have somebody on your floor named the death of a god. He's been here longer than anyone. Does he ever leave your floor? <laughs> no, we're not supposed to leave our floor. At least we're not. You can. Then how exactly did you get here? I snuck on the elevator. Ah. Uh, so I guess I probably shouldn't tell anyone that you came to visit me today? Please don't. He rips off another piece of paper and lets it fall. Have you had a lot of gods get killed here in the past? No. This Only two so far. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Who is the other one? Lord of the Dance. He's downstairs. You mean this happened recently? Maybe like five minutes ago. Oh my god. Okay, that, okay. I think I need to go, actually. Um, I, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Come visit sometime. Sure, yeah. I guess you they, hear that the locks on your door be undone as the door opens. Will kind of picks up the notebook and kind of rereads over what uh, puberty said and kind of keeps getting stuck on the seems like you lost something to uh, and then the line after it something that may never have existed and it's a lot and they kind of like take the pages and they fold them and they stick them in the nightstand and they kind of <sighs> okay another one okay okay should probably get down there okay and they exit the room and they head downstairs uh if they if they know where Flynn is staying, they'll stop by Flynn's room and grab him too. Uh, you and Flynn are both on the same floor, so. Okay, what floor are we on? You both were put on the fourth floor. Okay, what's on the fourth floor? Humanoid. Humanoid, okay, cool. Uh, I'll grab Flynn. Yes. Uh, Flynn? Yeah. 
Uh, are you in your room? No. Flynn has probably just finished up with uh, the the forest god uh, and his like his investigation and heads out towards the elevator to go back downstairs. All right. Um, well, you don't find Flynn, but you do hear the elevator ding as it stops on your floor. Okay, I'll rush up to the elevator then. And that's where you find Flynn. No. Oh. Hmm, small world. Come here uh, often. So I just found out something very, uh, not great. Cool. Uh, like while we've been up here, another murder has happened down there. Okay. Okay, that's going to change my approach of the next thing. Uh, so Flynn is just going to text instead of speaking aloud. Uh, what do you all know about yellow uh, wallpaper? On the fourth floor, um, not the fourth floor, on the ground floor, bells. Uh, and Megan, your cell phones go off as you see Victor putting up yellow caution tape. Uh, Megan doesn't check her phone. She, uh, I would like to, can I roll practical tactical brilliance? Cause I think she's just on high alert right now. Absolutely. And it's just sort of like wings out, taking up like a super, like is just, she's taking the ready action and just if something else breaks out, she's ready to go. So like weapon I'll out. take a bit of a medal and take my temperature on just how discomposed Bells is right now. Nice. Uh, go for it. I got Extremely a 13. Extremely good dice. Good, good dice. Uh, Bells, what'd you get? Four. Oh. Bells is freaked out. Oh, okay. That's what good means. You never want to win a composure check. I agree. Fact. Uh, so, Aubrey, two things. One, what'd you get on your practical tactical brilliance? Uh, so I rolled a 13, so I'm going to hold three. And she takes up like a, she's going to go ahead and switch and it's going to be in front of Bells and kind of covering her uh, with with her wings. Cool. And Bells, how hard are you crying? You were right. You were right. We never should have stayed here. We never should have done this. And she's going to reach back. Die. She reaches back with her free hand and just grabs Bells' Kill hand. But she Kill doesn't. What's the text, Bells? Can you check your phone, please? Flynn wants to know what's going on. Are you okay to text him back? Or would you like me to? And continues to hold on, hold your hand and texts one-handed and I think for bells the act of texting is intrinsically calming like it's normalcy and routine and like their favored terrain yeah <laughs> i hate to say that i relate but i super relate <laughs> huh. and and relays a very quick uh spark notes uh very dry spark notes though i think a couple times megan feels that the hand squeeze Yep. Uh, just like, yep, still for out, still for out. <sighs> and Megan will always squeeze back, but mm. she never looks over her shoulder. She's just on high alert. At, le at least one squeeze, there's just like this very soft, but like not displeased. It's like, ow. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. just like, <laughs> good, there, enough. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the enough. Like yeah. in the same way that painful ribs cracking hug is enough. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit of just, ow. No. Sorry. All right. Um, so you met. So you text back to uh, Eric. Not Eric. You text back <laughs> to Flynn about the situation at hand, but you don't answer his question. Yeah. Uh, I'm really Eric, just focused on that right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Flynn, Will, as you both. Uh, descend the elevator, you find yourselves on the ground floor. Uh, there's a hole next to the elevator where uh, Megan pushed the other guy and you see a bunch of gods, some you recognize, most you don't, gathered down the hall next to uh, the ballroom. And you see Megan on high alert 
and you see bells and they don't look great. Will is like immediately like rushing over because their first assumption, I mean, obviously somebody is dead, but their, their second assumption is going to be somebody else got hurt while this happened. Like they're like, they're rushing over and they're like, does anybody need any help with anything? Is everything okay? He's dead. He's not okay. Hey, he's not. Can I go over and inspect the body? Um, yeah, you can duck under the caution tape and inspect the body. Okay. Uh, I'd like to do like an investigation, like like as thorough and visual autopsy as I can. Like. Okay. Give me a judgment roll. Okay. Um, that is an eight. Okay, you can ask two questions. Okay. Um, very obvious how he died and when he died. Um, shit. I actually wouldn't mind a little bit of, of, of some, some su suggestions from the group, if that's okay. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I think seeing Megan not like, she's not freaked out. She's, she looks like a dog that thinks that the, the thing is still in the room. So I would probably lean towards what's the greatest danger. Cool. That seems fair. Uh, what is the greatest danger in the room right now? This room is clear. So Megan is the greatest danger in the room right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. um, sure. um, I mean, the obvious question is who's responsible for this, but that would solve the whole mystery and we don't <laughs> want that, do we? No. Um, All right. I mean, you can't ask it. It's a good ask. Yeah. But I Ooh. will be a vague asshole about it. Sure. Who is yeah. responsible for this? Like, do I, off the top of my head, know of any gods that specific, like, specifically, like, deal in flailing, like, you know playing many. a body? You know many, actually. Mostly the Aztec gods. Okay. The Aztec gods were very much in down for some flailing and blood sacrifices. But I'm going to give you something because you are the closest we have to a doctor. There's a pulse. He's not dead. Hmm. He's weak, not, he's not it's dead. Uh, then I am going to attempt to do regrowth. And uh, let's see, I get to roll this with, um, I roll this with weird. Weird. Cool, 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 cool. And I'm going to use my fate's favor on this roll. Okay. Do you have any more Pierce the Veil questions left? Uh, I only, only had got two. two. Okay. Uh, may I have a reroll, please? Yes, you may. Even freaking worse, so I can take the better of them, right? Take the better one. Uh, what was the better one? It was seven, eight, it was an eight on my regrowth, which means I heal five harm. Okay, um, mini marker, thank you for the tip. And you heal five harm and you see as he takes in a breath and begins to writhe in excruciating pain. You realize he wasn't dead. He was in shock. Someone did this to him and they wanted it to hurt and they wanted right. to is do there, something drastic. Is, can I pierce the veil uh, or I'm sorry, can I bend fate in order to try and kind of 
do something that will help him to like feel less pain or regrow some of his skin. Absolutely. Or, like, um, because regrowth will heal him, but I would love to do something to actually like help Fix alleviate him. his pain as well. Fair um, enough. So I'd like to push my gift beyond its means if possible. Give me a weird roll. Coolio. Nice. Uh, that is going to be a 10. Great. You get to choose two boons and one bane. So your gift does something beyond its normal limits. Um, and uh, I will heal an additional harm as well. And the bane I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to let you choose. Okay. I'm going to say you are going to roll with Fate's Disfavor on your next roll. Okay. You feel your energy fall. It's not faltering. This is definitely a holy place for what that's worth, but you do feel like you've pushed it beyond what you are physically capable of doing right now. And it makes you a little tired, but you are fine. Just get a Red Bull in you. You'll be fine. Yeah, Red Bull. I'm more of a monster girl myself. Worked for Megan. <laughs> Gave her wings. So, um, once you you regrow the skin on the Lord of the Dance, and he is laughing hysterically. Tears are streaming down his face as he continues to writhe, even though you know, like, he should be better. <laughs> you, you did the thing. You know you did the thing. We should get him somewhere safe before, before whatever was after him comes back or before he accidentally hurts himself. Where is his room? Uh, 307. He, 307. Yes. Th th thanks, Bells. Um... And Bells at this point, I think, is leaning against the back of Megan's wing and sort of has been since they heard he's alive. Just that sort of like, <sighs> yeah. And I don't know if that's really like the side that feels super comfortable. It's the opposite of like the, the cuddly side. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it allows you to remain in a little. It's kind of like getting an elbow frankly, right. It's just to where the they chest. are at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Megan is unbothered. But. Bye. Uh, being in the room when this happened, is there a role I can make to try to figure out where whoever did this came in from or where they exited? Like, now that it's not protect because a murder happened, Megan help. has a lot of murder, angry murder energy that needs to go somewhere. Big murder energy, as I like Yeah. That. Go ahead and roll me judgment. Okay. Uh, yeah. And my last upgrade, oh yeah, go ahead. Uh, may I roll provided, because I had the voice and I was thinking of like, yeah. you know, memory recollection is like its own special practice and sort of like using the voice of like, tell me what you saw when you came in the room kind of thing as a provide aid. Do you want to okay, leave the I role? Both Mechanically the just provide aid, but I just, for flavor. Yeah. All right. What, the way I'm going to word it is you both enter the mind palace. Yay. And I will allow you to roll uh, provide aid. You sure you don't uh, want to just lead the, the judgment, Bells? Uh, I'm sorry? Do you want to just lead the judgment roll? Uh, no, because I roll awe here. So okay. this is, I'm, I'm rolling into my power that you might then roll into something a little better than Sweet. I. And because like, I think assisting someone to do this by using the voice is the way to, is like the way that that kind of recall could work. I don't think Bells can do it on themselves. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so they roll a uh, 15. So uh, five and a six. Wild. We love to see it. Um, uh, plus according four. to the, yes, yeah, so uh, take your uh, thread, take your plus one. Thread plus two. Yep. Thank plus you. two. I'm going to make right. a fart noise now. I'm going to use a reroll, or I'm going to use my personal reroll. Okay, and that pushes me to a 12. Because I use my advancement, thanks to the last thread you gave me, to get a plus one to judgment. Nice. All right. Ask three questions. Uh, specifically targeting whatever this like attacker is, if I can. Uh, where did this person, place, or thing come from? Okay. You recall that it went dark 
and it went away as soon as it went bright again. This thing must travel in the dark. Okay. Uh, do I have a sense of like, I don't know the direction. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, why did it attack the Lord of the Dance? It left it alive. It left him alive. It wanted to send a message. Oh. You can tell that this was very similar to some of the more brutal tactics of your father's armies. This isn't a tactic of showing strength. This is a tactic of sowing fear. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Uh, where, where? I don't know if you can tell me that specifically, but like, where is this person, place, or thing? I need a direction to run in. Your best bet, considering what you know about the floors now, the singing was either on the second floor, on the ninth floor, maybe the 11th floor. Okay. But you know the thing didn't leave the hotel. Yeah. Sweet. And uh, like in the game, is this like, is this Bell's like walking Megan through what she remembers? Like, is this like a dialogue back and forth? I yeah, like uh, that idea. This is uh, sort of amount, imagine the extra reverb sound design that you get when Bells is using the voice. Yes. Uh, and giving orders, because that's the nature of that. So it's, yeah. tell me what you see, so, see when you get into the room. Yeah. Who do what? you see around you? What do they look like? Tell me. And so yeah. over and over, tell me, tell me. Yeah, tell and me. I think and Megan walks just- walks it through sequentially. So to Megan, it might almost seem like there were, if you're remembering frame by frame and zoom, almost like a still shot slideshow. Oh and yeah, no, if this was comic. a comic book, it would be like a hundred panels. Yeah. <laughs> hundred goddamn panels. And I think if, if it's the comic book of that, it keeps pushing in on Megan's face as you can see that, like, and you can feel it cause you're like leaned up against her that she's coiled and she's ready to go up. <laughs> Second floor, ninth floor, 11th floor. Void, abstract, angels. I would like to go. 11th floor is demonic. I had, 10th floor was demonic, dang. 10th floor is angel. Yeah, 10th floor is angel. Uh, Will is kind of looking around for anyone who will help them carry the Lord of the Dance because they are not big enough. Like they're, they're kind of pulling at his shoulder. Like they're just not large enough to carry him. Uh, um, Victor walks up and he helps you just like heft him onto his shoulder. Mike, uh, can you get the, you get the elevator for me? Yeah, you guys should really invest in, a, in some sort of gurney or something. Um, didn't need one until today. And uh, Will's going to kind of run ahead towards the elevator because they see Megan is on the hunt and Bells is obviously not of any mind to do whatever it is other than what she's doing. So, yeah, like, Will just kind of... What's Flynn doing? Um, Flynn's watching all of this uh, and is looking around... uh, What's the wallpaper like in this room? The wallpaper, there is no wallpaper. It is wooden paneling that's been beautifully polished. Like, this is a very high-end place. Mm -hmm. All right. You don't find wallpaper in this room. All right. Um, Then I guess I'll wait for my time. Wait for it, wait for it. Bells, are you okay for me to leave? Or would you like me to stay with you? Where are you going? Up. Which up? Two, then nine, then 11. Right behind you. Is there a 
specific objective to the the up? Oh, Flynn. <clears throat> uh, whatever that was is on one of those three floors. Hmm. Discover I would ass. like to Kick. go find it. And I can think I, she's just sort of vaguely trembling at this point. Can I pause it briefly uh, an alternative where you read your phone and nod if you under if you know what that what I asked the text I sent and Megan is gonna like slowly go and pull out her phone. What was the what was the question again? Uh, what do y'all know about yellow wallpaper? Okay. <laughs> and Megan kind of like quirks her head. Like the story? Anyone? Uh, there's a, there's a, it's a short story. I don't know. What? The yellow what wallpaper. Is... Story about a lady. Uh, it's like Victorian England. So you know it sucks about women. Well, and... I just, apropos of that, because that has nothing to do with anything. Uh, I was just curious about that. Um, I tracked down, uh, I met Gary, the god of ants, and I tracked down, uh, he showed me to the, the room for the, the, the forest god that attacked you. Um, you know, apparently this is not a common thing for the forest god to do, to just go boss the wall and attack people. So something caused him to do this. And you think the yellow wallpaper has something to do with this? Why? She said yellow... she's a god of one woman's madness. I don't, I don't know I what her. she's a god of, but I know when I went into his room, there was a scrap of yellow wallpaper. Wait, so there's yellow wallpaper here? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, she, when I talked to her, uh, she was supposedly the last person to see the Plague of the Valley alive. She's the one who Im implicated the blinding light that turned violent. Oh. Okay. So perhaps we are not, I mean, we are looking for one perpetrator, but it's possible that whoever is doing this is somehow influencing or causing others to carry out their actions. I think the god of the forest was supposed to be a warning, but we didn't get it. So they had to send another one. That's the thing about the flaying. It's a little familiar. Some of our pantheon. Okay, my dad. Uh, this is anything. this is the enthusiastic work of his followers. Mm. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's barbaric. Why can't you just be like my pantheon and drown women for wanting rights? There you go. No, that's like the story. Okay, I'm sorry. I remember one thing from high school English, and I feel like I just wanted to share. It's fine. So you want to go find lit literal yellow wallpaper. There's wallpaper here that talks? I'm confused. Yes, I had a whole conversation the other day. Okay. I don't know how to fight decor. So Without what... decorum, one assumes. <laughs> I feel like that's the exact moment Will comes back from the elevator after helping Victor, just that line. But if like- That's like the best line to walk in on. Not to play. Excuse you. me. What? If you wish, to, if you, if you have anger inside of you that you need to get out, Gary of the the god of ants, uh, the god of ants, uh, is totally down to get stepped on. I'm sorry. What? I can't tell. If this is a joke. No, Please don't no, joke he, right now. Gary was very specific that he's into that. There is an ant god what? that wants, okay? Mm -hmm. he, sure. he specifically mentioned that he was in Defend Off. So if he was, you know. Okay. 
I think huh. Bells looks at just what shoes everybody is wearing, just <laughs> instinctively. <laughs> you don't even want to. It's just one of those things that's like, huh. Who has the shoes for this? <laughs> I mean, obviously, he'll, yeah, but. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Megan, I feel like athletic, there. like trainers. Are we working? Yeah, with? like a like a nice bouncy sneaky. Yeah, Some good good uh, arch really. support. <laughs> the not actually. The, Will is wearing heels, like like a heeled, like a nice heeled boot, like yeah. kind of a thing. All like right. they're still in their they're still in their really awful right. suit, but they were wearing really wearing like boot, boot booties. Yeah, like, no, I remember a little bit of a heel to them. I wasn't sure if it was yeah. like wingtip yeah. or boot. I like boot. Yeah, yeah. 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 nice. I figured boot was a nice was a nice yeah. deal, like Boots a slightly best. a slightly uh, a, a, a slightly cropped pant with a boot. Like I mean, not great on a very short body, but they didn't have their usual Leather advisor, jeans. so uh, to tell them uh, whether or not they looked good, they just hoped for the best. Um, and and uh... wear clothes you like. There you go. There's yeah. fashion. Uh, well, and I almost look at Flynn's, I think, but then I remember survival instincts. Listen, <laughs> Flynn wears very nice sneakers. He's a sneakerhead, and he, oh, he, he, has, he just keeps them a lot cleaner than I do. <laughs> I think I this is a the point idea. of Megan and Flynn's friendship. I, I do love the idea that it's like total schlub, really nice shoes. Yeah, no, yeah. Like, yeah. like really like nice Jordans that are kept very pristine. The Despite one you clean yeah. thing. So and the computer, which does not have dust in it, and we know that. We're no. just like air cam. Gonna step on ants and talk to wallpaper. I feel I feel like I missed something. Is it the weirdest thing we've ever done? I mean possibly. Is it outside of the realm of things we've done? Definitely not. Uh, by the way, Megan looks visibly uncomfortable right now. Uh, it's like the rage equivalent of blue balls. Like mm, it kind mm -hmm. of Punch hit balls. really hard and she doesn't really have anything to do with it. So she's sort of just kind of twitchy and uncomfortable, like trying to calm down though. Fair enough. So we have, I, I, I missed whatever it is that you all were talking about while I was trying to get Lord of the Dance uh, into the elevator. What exactly is the plan right now? I don't know. I was just telling you the information. I found the room of the Lord of the Forest. Um, uh, the word from uh, Gary, the the God of Ants, uh, was that um, he's not. He's he. I believe he 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 said he's normally a dick weasel, but not this bad. Uh, and uh, in inspecting his forest room, uh, is crazy. Um, uh, there was little bits of wallpaper which don't normally. N not normally in the Pacific War Northwest, so. Then let's find the yellow wallpaper in the hotel and see what her, her testimony of her movements have been in the past day or so. Any interactions with dark gods, like lights off, that could have done this? Or with the Lord of the, the Voice of the Forest. And if those answers are maybe maybe she has an alibi or maybe we'll understand more. We should find her. And if you need to, I can call Gary. You can stomp on him. He's I don't really into it. Want to stomp on the ants. He can make himself but in the shape of you. a people. Maybe. Ever say something and you regret it, but it kind of just determines everything now. And this is that. I regret <laughs> everything. I made bad life choices. <laughs> They're great life choices. We love it. No, 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 no. So I think so where I do will you guys go, up go to the concierge, uh, uh, Victor, presumably. He uh, pops out from behind it. Uh, oh, uh, hey, Bells, what's up? Do you have a means of locating any particular gods? We're looking for the yellow wallpaper. Uh, he flips through his Rolodex. Uh, yeah, she's on the ninth floor. 
Thank you. Uh, no problem. Significant eye contact with Megan and then goes to the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> Megan, you hear her snarl a little bit in the back of her throat. Uh, uh, Megan, b- before you go, uh, flip, 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 flip. He pulls out a card and he holds it out to you. Uh, there's this guy on the sixth floor if you want to kick someone's ass. What? Why? Who? Okay. I don't want to just kick anyone's ass or I'd punch all of you right now. Fair enough. Puts the card back. Closes Thank the decks. Thank you. Lower self. Mm-hmm. I'm not vanishing or anything. I'm just hiding from you. Yeah, that's probably the right call. That's what I thought. And she just walks like painfully slowly, like all of her instincts are to use her divine speed and like get to the thing. And she is, she is holding herself back. You are watching a person holding themselves back desperately right now. So when Megan gets to the lift, Bells leans over and just says very softly, I bet a lot of those monsters on the horror floor are horrifically misogynistic. They might be worth ass kicking if you do want the catharsis. It's not a bad option. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. And thank you for looking out for me. Always. And just very gently, like, shoulder bumps. Yeah. Uh, inside the wing, actual shoulder. Yeah. She, like, leans back and kind of, like, stays there for a little bit and then moves back. So Will's head pops like a zit. No, Will. No. Yeah. Will is, like, Will has been very much in, in, a, in a very strange headspace since they got here. Mm. Um, and, like, is not processing anything right now. So. Poor thing. All right. With that, the four of you ride the elevator uh, up to the ninth floor. When the doors open, you're greeted with what appears to be an attic. Uh, It's dark and cold and drafty. Uh, You see discarded things throughout it, uh, paintbrushes, dried paint canisters. Um, The first human you see is a woman where all the features are on one side of the face, quite literally an abstract figure. She sees you and then rushes to a door and slams it behind her and locks it. And further down, you hear tearing. Repeatedly, just rip, rip, rip. I would like to go fast to the tearing place. (laughs) I also follow the the noise that might be wallpaper. Yeah. (laughs) Megan, you have supersonic speed, so you get there way before anyone else. You see a man in a white robe uh, stabbing a wall over and over again, surrounding his feet are scraps of yellow paper, yellow wallpaper. I'm gonna grab him and whip really hard in the neck area. And I would like to do the like up and up high. Okay, you do so. Uh, The white hood uh, falls down and you see this elderly man who doesn't seem that scared. In fact, he's going to try to stab you. Do and I'm it. actually going, I'm going to use the hard move I gathered earlier and the I knife wish, does make contact. I wish nice. a motherfucker would come stab me. However, Yo, you have give me a reason. Armor. You I have do epic have armor, epic armor, correct? Armor. Mm-hmm. So it does not break the skin. Oh, okay. But <laughs> you now have a reason. Oh, thank you. Thank you for this gift. And I think she's just going to watch the stab and then just look up with like the Kubrick underlook and smile. 
And we're gonna go through the wall together. And you go crashing through the wall. In fact, you crash through several walls, yeah. several hotel rooms with people screaming and shut shocked as they jump back, though they're not really people, so don't worry about it, uh, before you finally pin him to a uh, brick wall in what looks like a New York alley. Sweet. Uh, you have I'm done, a, he is in pain. <laughs> Sweet. Why? Talk. You see blood trickle out of his mouth and he doesn't say anything. And that's when you realize his eyes are just white, a milky sort of sickly looking. Uh, what are you? And she's going to do like the two hand, like bash him against the wall to, you know, Ooh. can I... Can Boom. I intimidate to try to get uh, answers? Yeah, sway someone with pain. Wait. Yeah, I have, that's sway. a move I have. I feel like that should be our t-shirt. Sway with pain. Yay. All right. Uh, no pain, no, I'm no going to use a re -roll. I thought I thought it was get in, get out, cry later. There you go. Mm. Uh, nine plus, I get a plus one to sway someone. Oh, I get these prowess. I rolled a billion. It's fine. I rolled a 14 to okay. intimidate. How's your Latin? Uh, not great. She went to like a good boarding school. She knows oh, about yeah, the Megan yellow wallpaper. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Megan went to like a good prep school because that's how you get trained for sports. <laughs> but Aries and Mars, like there's sort of like a Pantheon crossover here that like yeah. <laughs> maybe in the same way we know ancient Greek, like we might be a little bit good for Latin, not on the same level, because it's not from there. Yeah. Mm. Also, I, I mean, I'm willing to roll for it to see if like my roll weird is Latin. high enough. Yeah. Yeah, give me a weird roll. Good, I am very bad this at This is weird. indeed a weird roll. All right, nine minus one is an eight. Okay, you are able to get every third word. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Uh, you pick up the word white and God, worship, revenge. Boy. You're not getting a big pic. You're getting a picture here, but it's not a clear picture. Can I use my phone? I'm just gonna hold my phone up and like have some sort of translation thing. Sure. The white dress looked beautiful for the ceremony, but I don't understand if it's really fitting the dog. Hmm. Google Anything. Translate's not your friend. <laughs> Even I, I got fancy God phone magic. No, Bells has a fancy God phone. You just have Google I'm Translate. Compute, but I'm I I'm I am computer man. <laughs> Wouldn't Latin be here? It's a dead language. Ah. I'm glad someone picked up on that joke, but that wasn't intentional. Um, <laughs> all right, Eric, I will allow you to do this, but you got to give me a weird roll. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> Let the dice decide. I'm not well, saying I, you got to give me everything for free, even though most of the things I do, you do. Um, Tricks is very true. Roll. I do feel like I'm bullied by a lot of the playbooks here. Yeah, a lot oh, of times. Oh, I can just like, do this now. You're like, roll this. I was like, I don't have to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but no, yeah, it's fine. Okay. It's fine. I, I'm fine being bullied. It's I fine. rolled an eight. Okay, on an eight, you are able to pick up every third, every second word. So as opposed to every third word, which is nice. It's nice. It's good. Um, between the two of you, you are able to put together a picture. This man is a cultist. And his God is here at the hotel. And he will do anything for them. So Flynn's standing next to me, yeah? Oh, yeah. That changes the plan slightly. Does and it? She, Does she it let, have to? She lets him down. Like, she, like, her hand is, like, her offhand is raised in a way of a sort of reach and pull the insides 
to the outsides. And then she closes her fist slowly and just looks over at Flynn. And then lets him go. That's it. We're not going to. You can pummel him. I don't think I have the restraint to stop at pummel. Fair. Fair. Yeah, I think he's people. Oh, I don't care. Okay. Neither do I, but you know, uh, we might be able to get some stuff out of him. The others probably can. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just say between you and me, I'm kind of glad that this is going the way it is a little bit because I was, uh, my initial suspicion was it was grandpa, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty impressive. Yeah, huh. I tried to get I tried to get him alone in a room so I could like accuse, but oh. uh, I, you know. I mean, if you still want to, we can maybe it'll make him feel better. Like, oh, the demigods think I can I'm kill a dog. I'm standing right <laughs> here. Oh, finally oh, you're fine. here. Jeez, it did Talk take you a little while, be Will, because you had to kind of climb over a lot of rubble as you went through people's hotel rooms to land here in someone else's hotel room. That is a back alley in New York City. And Megan's just going to hold the cultist up by the scruff of his neck towards Bells. Make him talk more, please. Tell me the name of your god. I know. They have to ask. You have to roll. Sure. <laughs> I mean, technically no, but I'm happy to do it because of the circumstance. <laughs> You've got two of the four playbook, or yeah, two of the four playbooks here. Like most of their stuff doesn't isn't a roll. I I feel so bullied by those games. <laughs> yeah, I have to roll for everything. I don't think there's Same. a single thing on my sheet that I. Well, can't I borrowed this for. one from the arcane. <laughs> uh, I these are I've got two choose another playbook thingies, and this is what I did with it. Uh, so that's uh, another five and a six. I, this, <laughs> this, is, this is just the dice. This is not even me. This is not even the build. This is just, this is just the dice. Uh, plus four, so 15. Amazing. <laughs> you made Aubrey laugh so loud, they broke their mic for a second. I want <laughs> you to realize that and feel bad about it. But okay. Um, They look at you with those milky, vacant, white eyes. My god is the last thing I saw of when I went blind. Oh. Oh. Tell me when. When I took in her beauty as a young man, I knew I had to worship her for the rest of my life. Tell me, have you met with her recently? She doesn't meet with mortals. Tell me, have you ever had contact with her? Only for a brief, beautiful moment, but it was the best moment of my life. Tell me more about it. I think as this pushes, it kind of pushes on him a little bit. Like this is much more repeated use of the voice than Bells usually uses. So I have to put some other water. When I saw, when I was young, I heard her voice. And when I was of age, I saw her. and She took my sight as payment. Tell me why you were attacking the wallpaper. The wallpaper knows things. And now she won't talk. Tell me what you think she knows. She knows of my goddess's anger and jealousy. She knows of my goddess's madness. That's what she knows. She knows everyone's jealousy and everyone's broken heart. Anything else? we need from him? Do 
will. Did your goddess have something against the Plague of the Valley? Answer their question. It was personal and they enjoyed it. We have everything we need for now, Megan. He's mortal, yeah? Very. I would like to do a tre tremendous act of violence that I would like to just, I'm giving people a chance if they want to like, just emotionally step away Able. for a second. Yeah, content warning. I would like to rip him in half, please. Cool. From the top down. Oh, the hard way. Yeah. I don't usually say this, but goddamn, girl. <laughs> oh, no, it's going to be more of a like, she's she was holding him by the scruff of the neck and then she pulls him close and then like wraps her arms around him and grabs at like the rib cage. Yeah, Megan, and no. Pulls, and pulls outward. Oh, uh, you crack him like a walnut. And then let's drop. What are y'all doing in my sorry room? Again, about sorry about your alleyway. I apologize. I don't know if you're in this room, but- really and An older gentleman comes up, uh, covered in, he wears a trench coat and rags. And what are you, oh, oh, wow. We'll get Victor to clean this up. I apologize. Yikes. We also know how to send messages. And who are you people? We're investigating the recent murders here in the hotel and try not to look at the murder that has just yeah. happened. Exactly. That's all we... this homeless man is staring at. Will is kind of just staring at the body, just like stunned silence, just tears streaming down their face. In the words of my ancestors, fucking yikes. Um, the homeless man looks up at you, Megan. Do you mind taking him out of my alley? Fine. Please. I said fine. Thank you. And she'll grab the halves and let them like trail behind her. Uh, good thing it rains here all the time. It does. Yeah, it's my room. I'm so sorry, I didn't get your name. I'm Bells. And I think they're probably covered in like splash blood. Like there's just oh, Jackson you in Pollock the splash on their dress zone. now. Yeah. Uh, it is the abstract floor, as I recall. So, uh, voila. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm cleaned up street art. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Please prevent, please don't murder people in my hotel room anymore, please. I mean, this is where I live. We'll try, but honestly, no promises. Flynn! Is, is this a pro? Am I asking too much? No, I'm just saying, like, we will attempt not to. We will That's try. That's all I best. ask. We don't usually make a habit out of killing humans. Sorry. Eh. Flynn thinks back to two seasons ago. Uh, sure. And one season ago. Cleaned up street art just kind of looks at you, Will, and shrugs. What's a human to a god? For some, the last worshiper they have, apparently. How do you know it was the last one? I don't, but whomever he worshipped wouldn't have ended up here unless they were starting to run low. Maybe. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, yeah, you have a lovely alley. 
please let me know if you if you ever want like Wi-Fi or some some Hulu Plus, you know. You and your Hulu. Uh, the door's over there. Megan has actually left a lovely trail of blood to it, and the door is wide open. The inside of their hallway still resembles an attic. Belle starts picking their way over some of the rubble from the Looney Tunes-esque series of holes in the wall yes. uh, on their <laughs> way back. It was less Looney Tunes, more Juggernaut. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I mean, six of one, my friend. Half a dozen of the other. Uh, then on their way back to the yellow wallpaper. Yeah. Four and nine will is probably going under more things than they're going over things, so... And Flynn will yell out through the, the, the hole. And again, same for you. Wi-Fi, Hulu Plus, just ask. I can get you Disney Plus, but you'll all have to share. In the yellow wallpapers room, you find that there is no door. There is, however, a bed with uh, bars on the and a window with bars on it. The room, which was once the sickening, disgusting yellow, is now shredded paper against wood. You do, however, eventually find her, and I will need you to roll, uh, perform under pressure to actually talk to her. It's really hard to look at. Especially for a demigod and a beauty line oh ah, beauty line <laughs> uh that's a six and a one which i think is plus zero so seven all right um re-roll. you can either use a re-roll or i can give you a complication it's, a, it's the end of the sesh I, we'll but the I like a complication here that feels good all right you are going to start next session with fate's disfavor on a roll okay all right oh Hello again. You brought friends. Yes. You're you're okay. We are very hard to kill. Mm-hmm. I Are you in pain? Always. Is that why you're trying to kill so many people? Oh, I never want to kill anyone. I mean, that's the excuse I use. But You're a very handsome man. You remind me of my husband. Or was it her husband? Our husband. Are you related to the story at all? I might have inspired it. A desperate ploy to maybe... Be important to more people. <laughs> and Meg, like gore-soaked Megan is going to gesture at Flynn like, see, this was relevant. <laughs> I, Can I, I never said you? it wasn't. What? I'm sorry, Will, can you repeat that? Can I help you at all? <laughs> oh, sweetheart, sweet child. There's no helping me. I, I was trying to help you. I mostly meant repairing your wallpaper. I've tried to rip myself asunder many times. I'll repair one day. But I was hoping to get you four out of here. Why? You all have such potential in you. And they're going to eat you alive. Who? Nothing at all. And that is where we are going to call game this week on New Pantheon Season 3, The Hotel California. My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at Stephen J. Pope 22. You can also find me every Wednesday on twitch.tv slash games we never play for It's Always Sunny in the Shadows, a horror comedy of Vampire the Masquerade 5th edition game where someone who has played too much World of Darkness finally gets to kind of make fun of it. What a concept.
You can also find me every Monday on Games You Never Play, the podcast. And um, that's kind of it for me right now. How about you, Eric? Why, hello, everybody. Uh, you can always catch me on Mostly Eric on all the social medias, uh, as well as my Twitch channel, where I stream uh, video games all the time, so you can catch me there. You can catch me this coming Tuesday at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the uh, Pirates of Salt Bay Season 3 chatback episode, where we're going to answer all your burning questions about Pirates of Salt Bay. And if you can't make it live, that's okay. We've got a Google Doc that we've been tweeting out. You can check the Saving Throw Show Twitter, and you can, or if you're in chat right now, you can check it out. Uh, you can ask your questions ahead of time to guarantee that they get answered by all of your favorite you know, cast members. Is there a link in the doobly-doo? Uh, they're, they're probably, it'll, it's, on, it's on the Saving Throw Discord. Uh, it's on our Twitter. It's probably been on our uh, also Instagram and all those other things. Uh, uh, but yeah, if you check, the, uh, check all those places, you can find the link to it. Very cool. Uh, Abria. Hi, uh, I'm Abria Iyengar. You can catch me on social media at Quiddy, Q-U-I-D-D-I-E. And uh, tomorrow you can catch me over on twitch.tv slash D&D playing Lost Mind of Fandelver with the amazing Ooh. Aki. Oh, it's such a good fun game and Pasha is bae. Uh, they're so good. Uh, on Tuesday before the Salt Bay chat back, you can catch me from 2.30 to 5.30 p.m. Pacific, I believe it is, over on Scraticus Academy uh, with session one of Creature Collector, which is a D&D 5th edition uh, actual play. Uh, it's Pokemon. We're It's Pokemon. We're playing Pokemon. Um, we have a Pokemon on, trainer in the game. It's great. Exactly. <laughs> um, on Friday, you can catch me over on twitch.tv slash 12 sided stories uh, running Heliotrope, which is a Hack the Planet actual play that will eventually be uh, modified slightly uh, in post and turned into a podcast too. But new episodes of 12 Sided Stories, uh, fully produced actual play, uh, drop every Friday. And we're just finishing up Otherworld London, which is our Call of Cthulhu game. So you can catch up on that as we get ready to roll out Heliotrope 2. Um, and on Saturday, so you can catch me with the amazing Eric playing Return to the Spider-Verse, which is our uh, Into the Spider-Verse uh, game in Masks, the PBTA game. Uh, I play Miles Morales and Eric plays Man Spider. And it's so good and so horrifying. We love to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Sam Delev. I'm Sam Delev. You can find me on Twitter at Tchaikovsky, C-H-A-I-K-O-V. SKY, as well as on Twitch. Uh, I stream on RPG shows throughout the internet, as well as on my personal Twitch, twitch.tv slash Delevely, D-E-L-E-V-E-L-Y. And my schedule for all of the things I do across the internet on a regular basis is currently all the way up to date on my Twitch page. So uh, go over there and check it out and find everything that I'm doing. Awesome. And last but certainly not least, the amazing Aki. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki, and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mixgenie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. Uh, sorry, I flubbed that, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I do things on the internet with my friends that I love. Uh, Friends in this little sphere here, I uh, do Clear Skies with Sam and A Darkened Wish with Sam, and I do um, uh, Lost Mind of Dover with the beautiful and incandescent Abria, who is also Bay, not just her character, but just her in general, just Bay. Um, uh, but yeah, my schedule is also currently up to date and available on my Twitch, Shidare Aki, uh, S H I D A R E A K I. Um, and yeah, uh, I do lots of stuff all over the place so catch me when you can awesome and special thanks to zom zook for running our show tonight uh without him we would not have saving throw make sure you follow saving throw we have amazing content including wild cards this friday they continued their journeys into one shot dumb with uh well we don't know it's a surprise castlevania I thought Castlevania was last week, and we're going to it's, the new it's, thing it's, I think they're doing two-parters or something like that. Well, crap. We're doing more Castlevania. Great. Get your blair. Yeah. What is it? A miserable pile of secrets. Fact. References. Uh, you can also ma also uh, check out, as stated, the uh, Pirates of Salt Bay talkback this, this Wednesday, right? Wednesday? Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. So make sure you check that out too. It will be a blast. 
special thanks to Hero Forge for sponsoring us. And thank you for tuning in. And until next week, see you later. <laughs>